For the past 20 years, I've been making do with mismatched tools. Since starting this YouTube channel, I've decided it was about time I picked up a regular set. So, before that first bike video where I restored the Kona, I decided to pick up a set from Amazon. And because I wasn't ready to drop really big money on this set, I looked on Amazon for a good complete toolbox set. And this bike handset really had the majority of the tools you need to do real thorough, not complete, but thorough repairs on a bike. And so I've been using these. I've been quite impressed with them. They're Not all of them are, are really super high quality, but they really have been getting the job done. If you've watched my other bike videos, you've seen them in use, and really I've been quite happy with how well they work. It's a really complete set. I've really liked these Allen wrenches, the cone wrenches, and the bottom bracket wrench. Everything's been really impressive. Even has a brush. And actually, this chain tool I've really been impressed with also. It unscrews on both sides and really makes it so you can line up that chain really well when you break it. It's also got a great chain tool, chain whip for taking off the cassettes, and other wrenches. Because of this set also, and because of the price that I paid, I paid uh, at the time of making this video and when I purchased them, it's going for $130 about on Amazon, which is a really good value. You get a lot of the specialty tools that you wouldn't always have just in your regular toolbox for repairing other things. So I wanted to share that with you. Along with it also, the stand that I've been doing the repairs in is one I picked up also before I did that first bike video. And the stand really has worked great for me. It's not as high quality as a professional stand, but it really does the job well. So, I'll put a link to these in the description below. But for today's project, I'm going to be using a lot of these tools. You'll see them, and you've seen them in the last few videos, in trying to sort out a little more information about this bike. Because I'm doing Vlogtober this month, I haven't had time to do full videos with every upload. But this bike, I believe we're going to do the full restoration of it this weekend. So look for that video likely on s maybe Sunday morning, if all goes well. The mystery really is continued on this bike. It's a Franken bike, as a lot of you guys have said in the comments from last night's video. In fact, because those brakes don't quite fit in here, to be able to take the front wheel off, I actually had to let the air out. My goal today with this bike is to still figure out what it is. I really don't think it's an Ellsworth. I think it might be a Marin, but I can't find it in any Marin catalog from like 94 to like 2007. It doesn't look like anything. It's got very unique parts. The dropouts are unique. I still haven't searched up the serial number on the bike. But one of the unique things that I'd read about the Sub-22 Ellsworth frame is that it weighed three pounds. So to help solve the mystery, I'm going to strip this bike completely down to the frame and weigh it. We'll see if that can add some clarity to the mystery. Also, I'm trying to think about what I want to do to build this frame back up. Do I want to use the Franken components that are on it? If it's a really nice light frame, maybe we can go with an extreme lightweight build. I don't know. 
It's got some good parts. It's got some odd parts. It's got parts from decades apart, even. I really like these Ritchie Logic cranks, but it doesn't really feel like they fit this build. It'd be great on one of my old school frames. Nice steel frame, maybe. I don't know. Why don't you guys tell me in the comments what you think I should do with this frame? Should I put it with a single spring front cog? Should I build it up as a lightweight bike? I don't know. Share me with me if you, one, if you know what it is. And two, what do you think I should do to it? This might end up being badged as an old shovel bike. I don't know. Maybe I'll make some old shovel stickers and stick them on it. Maybe a Frankenbike sticker. I'd actually really love to know what it is. Anti chain suck. That's what that thing's for. Definitely a well-built frame. Really sturdy welds. That Marin sticker, looking on it closely here, I could tell that it's it's not under under any like clear coat or anything. Neither is this Ellsworth sticker. I think both of them were put on after. Who puts a sticker on the head tube that's not for the frame that it belongs to? There's been a lot of grinding there on the inside of the chainstay. It's definitely sturdy. The only thing left to do is weigh it. Is it going to be three pounds? Hmm. I guess it's not a, an Ellsworth sub 22. So that wraps it up for today. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do for this restoration, and we'll finish it up on one of the next videos. Thanks for watching. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. After finishing up the bike, I had a scouting activity for October. It's throwing axes into pumpkins. <laughs> Some of my axe collection were used for this activity. If you haven't seen already, I've got several axe videos. Check them out.